In this video, we will learn how we can edit content in a cell. As we already know, when we would like to enter data in an empty cell, we would just select the cell and then we would start typing. Before we start typing, you can see here that we are in the ready mode. And when we start typing, it we are going to be in an enter mode. And when we enter the enter mode, you can see here that the menu options, lot of them, most of them become disabled and you cannot use them anymore. You can still use some of the options such as changing the font color. For example, let me type in and then you change the font color and I'm going to just type something in there. And now you can control the font color, font size, you can bold. So you can do some font formatting, but you cannot really do any of these other operations while you are in the enter mode. And after we finish typing, if we press enter or tab or as the many different methods we can to move from one cell to another, if you use them, then your new information is going to be stored in this cell. Let's say, for example, while I'm typing, I decide not to enter this information, then I can just use escape key and that will actually remove whatever I was doing at that point. Now, let's say I want to enter information in a cell which already has some content. Let's say, for example, in cell A10, we already have this information and I can click on that and then I can type a new information, whatever it might be. And until I hit enter, Excel is still only storing the previous information. But if I hit enter now, Excel will store the new information over the other one. So we will lose the old information if I hit enter. And if I decide not to keep this new information, and if I hit escape key, then you will see that Excel still stored the old information. So keep in mind that until you hit enter, the new information will not be stored. And if you want to back out of while you're typing, then you can just hit the escape key to stop entering the new information. Sometimes we don't really want to overwrite the entire content in a cell. We would like to just modify existing content. In other words, we want to edit existing data. For example, you can notice here that I used the small letter or the lowercase letter D in the book name here, The Discovery of India, and I would like to change that to an uppercase or a capital letter D. And you can definitely overwrite the entire content in a cell. When I have to make a small change, like just changing this one letter in this text, it's easier for me to just edit it instead of typing the entire thing over again. There are a few different ways of editing data. If you prefer keyboard, you can just click using your mouse in this cell A3 now, and then using a keyboard, press F2. And what happens is now you have actually entered in the edit mode. And when you are in the edit mode, just like in the enter mode, a lot of the options go away in the menu. You still have a few, but most of them will go away. So where you are now is at the end of the cell content. That's where your cursor will be at the end of the cell's content. I can use my backspace to delete any characters if I would like. I can type new things. I can also use my arrow keys to move. I'm using my left arrow now to move within the cell one character at a time. I can also move quickly by using control arrow to, to the beginning of this word. And then I can also use control arrow again to go to the beginning of the next word. So I have options to quickly navigate within the cells content using my control arrow. And I can also use my shift arrow key. In this case, I'm going to use shift right arrow to select characters. And in this case, I can select one by one. If I want to select a word at a time, I can use control shift right arrow which will select one word at a time. And after you have made the selection, you can apply any of the font formatting if you want, or you can even delete it. For example, if I don't need a specific word, let's say I'm going to select off and then I'm going to delete, press the delete key and it'll delete the content. Now, if I would like to put it back, I'll just type it in. 
So remember that we are still in the edit mode. You can just do whatever changes you want to make to the cell's content. And until you move out of the cell, all the changes that you have made will not be recorded or stored. So what I mean by that is even after making all these changes, if you'd still like to um, back out of those changes and you don't like those changes, you can hit the escape key and that will return you back to the original um, the way it was. And if I want to go back and edit, let's use another method. For example, I prefer the mouse. And I, if, if I prefer the mouse, I can just use my mouse pointer and then go on top of the cell and double click anywhere on the cell content. And let's say I want to just change the D. So I'm going to hit double click here next to D. And now the big difference between this and the using the keyboard shortcut F2 is here, you can control exactly where your mouse, your pointer needs to be. Whereas in the keyboard F2 shortcut, it will automatically be only at the end of the cells content. So now I've used the double click mouse option and I've been able to get to the character D very quickly. And now I can just backspace and then press D. And this allows me to quickly change the cells content and I hit enter and this will save the changes now. And last, lastly, there's also one more way of doing it. You can just go and edit directly in the formula bar. So for example, let's say we want again modify the discovery of India. I click on cell A3 and I can see the content here for A3 in the formula bar. And I can actually go directly in the formula bar and not double click, but just single click. And this will allow you to go in the edit mode again, as you can see here and you can edit just exactly the way that we talked about a few minutes ago you can select some words together you can select a specific character and then you can change if you would like or delete it and so these are the different methods by which you can edit existing content and you would definitely have the need while you're working with excel to sometimes go or often go and edit existing content and I'm going to hit escape to come out of that edit mode. And keep in mind that we used text information here to illustrate our point, but this works exactly the same on all types of data, whether they are numbers or dates or anything else as well.